Good day, Taoiseach. You know, I've, been, I've received an invitation, I'm sure you have, to debate with you on TV3, for example, the general election debate. Um, I'm prepared to do that debate. You're not. You just sniggered there and you laughed. Because your view is, if you avoid those debates, it's better. The public out there, and I would say the younger generation out there, actually think politicians should debate issues. And in the Doyle we should debate issues. And we should debate issues in Shannon Airden. And we should allow alternative voices to have their say. But you belong to a sort of acute whole form of politics that says, you know, the more not you look at dive, the less... Very parliamentary. Well, I mean, it's meant in the most parliamentary way. It's not meant to be, yeah, uh, you know... Um, um, it's a well-known... No, that's a well-known phrase in many yeah. works you, of political you science, you, actually. You, your, uh, I, you know, as, as a person who has studied political science, you'll find that phrase in lots of... No, lots of... Um, lots of recommended sure, documents. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, you know, or, or articles and books and so on. They, they talk about that phenomenon. They use other the point I make the, is, different. the point is that is, seems to be the view that the, the, the less room or space for parliamentary debate the better and the less room for any debate between politicians of any hue or colour the better I mean I was in the, 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 uh, Temple Bar last Saturday week you know myself and Deputy Creighton turned up but you didn't turn up and no one from Fine Gael turned up no one from uh, the Sorry, let's get on. Which, uh, Same in UCD T-shirt. There were six or seven politicians turned up. No leader from Fine Gael, no leader from, from the Labour Party. And this is a trend. And I, I think it's wrong, to be honest with you, that people should avoid debating with one another as politicians. Thank you. T-shirt. I'm not sure that that rambling contribution deserves any kind of response, can't call it. <laughs> Uh, are we, to, are we to, to have suddenly a revelation here in the Oireachtas that the greatest debater of all time has arrived? Sorry. Deputy Michal Martin, who refused to accept any responsibility for the ministry that he held, and that suddenly everybody should be cowering away under the benches uh, because they're going to get devoured by this wonderful uh, new political scientist who knows all the answers to all the questions. Uh, continue with your arrogance, if you wish. Um, I saw your picture on the local papers in Castle Bar, down indeed in the Sacred Heart home, that your um, representatives down there say will never go ahead in terms of its, uh, in terms of the new expansion. And yet you stand there uh, with your, in in your, in your, um, with your people, uh, uh, of course, and you're welcome any time. And you. And you'll be welcome, of course, uh, Deputy Martin. You'll be welcome, Deputy Martin, when the facility is opened. Let's now, what actually uh, to the opportunity to have debates with you all, everybody? You all. Yes. Yeah, are you the leader of the opposition, or is he the leader of the opposition? You don't want to debate one moment, anyway. Uh -huh. You should debate Are you the leader of the opposition, or is he the leader of the opposition? Sorry, no? sorry, no? sorry, no? please. <laughs> or should you? RT, you're entitled to their own opinion. Let's get back to the As far as I'm concerned, I debate, I debate issues of politics every day of the week. Every day of the week. And, some, and in some cases, far more robustly than what you're at here. But be that as it may, you have a particular slant that you want to follow at all times. And I suppose you're entitled to that.